Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create a forest environment in Unreal Engine 5. We will use models from Quixel Bridge and a free PCG plugin available on Unreal Engine Marketplace. This tutorial will guide you through the steps to create landscape materials and set up a PCG graph for procedural content generation. First, let's start by creating a landscape material in Unreal Engine 5.4. Open your content folder, right click and create a new material. Make it M underscore landscape and open it. If you already have a landscape material, you can skip this step. However, it will be useful later when we add grass and physical materials. I've downloaded some material from Megascans for our forest path and grass textures. Let's create material attributes for the grass by dragging out from the RGB output and creating a make material attributes node. Connect the normal map to the normal input. Do the same for ambient occlusion and roughness. Repeat the same process for the path texture. Copy and paste nodes and connect the base, color, normal, ambient occlusion and roughness for the path texture. Next, let's create an input for UVs by dragging a landscape coordinates node and connecting it to each texture sample's UV. To create these two materials, use the landscape layer blend node. Add two inputs, one for grass and one for path. Now we want to output the results of the landscape layer blend node as our material output, but as you can see the output node has different inputs. To fix this, click on your output node and search for use material attributes in the details panel. Set it to true and then connect the nodes. To reduce light reflection, create a constant value, set it to zero and connect it to the specular input. Click apply and save. Finally, select your landscape and drag the material onto the landscape material input. You'll notice the landscape might turn black initially. To fix this, go to the selection mode, choose the landscape and then the paint mode. You'll see two layers, grass and path. Create layer infos for both by clicking plus sign and choosing to create a new layer info. Now let's add procedural grass to our landscape. Go back to the landscape material and create a new node called landscape grass output. You'll need two grass types, one for grass and one for path. To create a grass type, return to your content folder, right click and search for grass type. Name it grass type underscore grass. Duplicate this for the path and name it grass type path. Open your grass type and under grass varieties, click add element. This is where you'll set your grass meshes. Go to your Megascans folder, find the 3D plants, filter by static meshes and add your grass. Back in the landscape material, assign your new grass type under the grass output. To control where the grass should spawn, add the landscape layer sample node, naming it the same as your layer, grass or path. Then connect these nodes. Apply and save to see a grass in the landscape. I'm using Nanite grass and as you can see the grass is not appearing cor correctly at the distance. To fix this, go to your static mesh and check preserve area. So behind the scenes, I've went to Quixel Bridge and added some more grass varieties to our landscape. I've added some branches, some rocks, some fern. And for the path, I just removed the grass and fern and left rocks and branches. And it looks pretty good. Now let's add trees using the PCG graph plugin. Enable the plugin by going to Edit, Plugins and searching for PCG. Enable the PCG Layered Biomes plugin and restart the engine. Once restarted, we can start adding trees and large rocks. Drag the PCG volume into your scene and resize it to manageable size while developing. Select the PCG volume, click Add and search for Biomes Spawn Manager. Set the graph instance to PCG Biomes Main. Open your content folder, right click and create a new data asset. Select biomes settings and name it biomes. Create another data set. Search for PCG spawn preset, select it and name it preset. Drag biomes to biomes and preset to preset and open them both. We'll start by setting up presets. Right click, add element and create new presets. One for trees and one for rocks. Inside each array, Add as many meshes as you want for your trees and rocks.
Next, open the biome's dataset and add a new element and name it forest. This forest biome will have two layers, one for trees and one for rocks. Add a generic biome layer. Then set the spawn preset to trees. Repeat for rocks. Set the graph for both layers to PCG layer generic. Click save and return to a level. You should see the trees and rocks already spawned. If not, you can select your PCG volume and click generate. We can adjust the density of trees and rocks by going back to the biomes. Under trees, set the density to 0.06 and noise scale to 7. For rocks, I'll set the density to 0.05 and keep the noise scale at 8. If rocks don't appear in dense forests, move the rocks layer above the trees layer to ensure they spawn first. I've moved our PCG volume to one of the hills and as you can see the trees are not spawning correctly. To fix this go back to the biomes and enable two options, no slopes and absolute rotation. Absolute rotation ensures that the trees are always spawning vertically, whereas no slopes prevents the trees from spawning on steep slopes and you can also adjust the angle in the settings. After making these adjustments the trees are now spawning correctly and the forest looks much better. Now let's say I want my path to go right here. I'll go to landscape mode and paint a path. However, I don't want trees and rocks spawning on the path. I want them to be procedurally placed only on the grass. For example, if you have a landscape with a lake, you wouldn't want trees to spawn on the water. If you're using normal landscape material and not an auto material, it's a very easy fix. Go to the biomes and add the filter above the layers called landscape layer and specify the name of the layer where you want the forest to appear. For example, in this case, I choose grass. Click save and it should work as expected. However, most of you, I imagine, would use a landscape auto material. The problem with auto material is when you sample a landscape layer, you'll have a separate layer for the auto material. But you don't know if the auto material represents a grass or a path. The solution is to use a physical material output. By default, the plugin we use for the PCG graph doesn't work with the physical materials, but I'll show you how to modify it and make it work. It's very easy. First, let's output a physical material from our landscape material. Right click and search physical material outputs and create two inputs. I've prepared two physical materials named grass and path, and I haven't changed them at all. I just created them and renamed them to grass and path. Assign the grass layer to one of the physical materials and the path to the other and connect them just like you did in the landscape grass. For more complex auto materials like the Unreal Sensei's one, it's the one I'm using for my personal project for example, locate where the procedural foliage is set. I think most auto materials come with this feature nowadays. And create a landscape physical material output node and add as many layers as you want for physical materials. We're back in our tutorial project. Our landscape now returns physical material. We need to tell the plugin to sample physical material and filter by physical material instead of the landscape layer. To do this, we're gonna have to make some modifications to the plugin. Go to the PCG volume and find the graph we set earlier. Open it and look for the landscape data nodes. In short, that get physical material is checked for both nodes. There are only two of them. Now our PCG graph samples physical materials. Save your changes and now we need to change the filtering logic in the plugin. To do this, go to the engine folder, then plugins and search for filter. Locate the file called filter by landscape layer. This logic simply looks for metadata for each point, gets the physical material attribute and checks if it matches the layer name we're trying to filter by. After making these changes, we can filter the layer like I showed before. Go to your PCG volume and set the filter to landscape layer and input grass. Click save and now if we paint a path through the trees, the trees and rocks will disappear from the path. So this is how we made a fully procedural forest in Unreal Engine 5. If you'd like to learn how to optimize this forest further, check out my previous video. It's a lot more technical and I dive into optimizing textures and meshes. I'm really happy with the results. It's very easy to add more trees, rocks and grass variations. All of this is procedural, allowing you to paint and add more layers with the trees and rocks adapting to the landscape layer.
And this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your projects.